is the first sunny day in a while, so I just wanted to give you guys the view so you can take a look at it because it's a nice day out today. <sighs> if I would have known it was going to be like this, I would have got up early and went to the motherfucking beach. So yeah, so that is what's going on and we are up kind of super high. I don't know how many more um, sunny days I'll be up here. I don't know if you can see it in the background over here, but there's snow on the mountains over there because it has been raining so fucking much. But yeah, that is Los Angeles. Um, over in this direction is historic Filipino town and Echo Park and Silver Lake. And then over in this direction is East Hollywood. And there's the Hollywood sign. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. And there's the Griffith Observatory right... Oh, wait, right there. <sighs> and then that right there in the distance is Koreatown closer and then Hollywood. And all those tall buildings over there in the distance, so like right there, that's all Hollywood. And then that goes down all the way to the tall buildings way down there, and that's West Hollywood. And then, I don't know if you can see it through those buildings, but there's tall buildings over there. That's um, Century City and Beverly Hills. And then if we go all the way around, which you won't be able to see, would be like Santa Monica and the beach. And then if you were to go all the way over behind this side of the building, it would be downtown. And those big mountains over there in the distance with snow on them, um, that's Big Bear up on top of there. So, yeah, that is... And then like Orange County and stuff would be... Like right there all the way down that way but that's a long trek and here we are in central LA and Westlake and um, for those of you who were like hardcore um, when I said if you go down that way that's Orange County that's where like Anaheim and Disneyland and shit like that is um, but in between here and there is South LA, South Central LA, um, Long Beach, and all that shit, San Pedro, um, all those fun places. So yeah, so this is LA, and hopefully I will be out of here very quickly. My computer's fucking up right now, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm trying to come up here and do videos, and then suddenly all my programs on my computer stopped working, so we'll see. Hello everybody, I am on my way to the smoke shop. I'm gonna get a couple new vapes. I'm gonna run over to Starbucks and start reading at that for the Bukowski Book Club. So I got a text that said, check your mail, motherfucker. Just like that. Yeah. Very nice mailer. Let's see what happens when I open this up. Oh my God. Oh, the broadside too. That's crazy. That was a nice paper. Very thick. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Aww. So this is obviously from Shaylin Marks. The broadside for the love of the muse. 2020. Bow. 
she put these up all over her town, which was awesome. Um, and then I guess this is a sticker, huh? A sticker for pheromones. And then she did this. Look at how cute this is. Oh. When people do things this cute, I don't ever want to open it because it looks really nice. Oh, girl, look at that body. Girl, look at that body. Oh, wow. That is a sharp looking book. And it sucks because you guys can't see how awesome this paper is. It's like kind of glittery. Oh, the pages change color as you get further into the book. Nice. This looks great. Oh my gosh. How many pages is this? This is like a really meaty, thick book. This is great. So I'd say this is what, like close to 40? 32, so 36. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, this book looks amazing. This is a really well fucking put together fucking book. And it's a big in. It's it's a big chunker. Look at that. And if you want to just scan that so you don't have to actually do anything, do that. It says, in pheromones, take a visceral journey with marks through the peaks and valleys of a tumultuous, decade-long situationship. Ugh, that's really good. Good job, Shaylin. This book looks amazing. Love it. Go pick up pheromones, guys. Since I've been showing you guys food and stuff, and you guys seem to like that, I'm gonna... Um, oh, shit show you some more food so i got some stuff from dave's hot chicken in koreatown uh, uh, there it is so let's see what this looks like okay so we got all sorts of sauces here which is cool I like collecting sauces. So we got Dave's Hot Chicken Ketchup. We got Pure Honey. We got Dave's Sauce, which looks like that. It's kind of like a, it kind of looks like Thousand Island, to be honest. I'm sure, it's a little bit different. And I really like Dave's napkins. They say stuff. That's fun. Good times. Oh, oh man, they really fucked me on my fries. No. No, they're still good. So this is what I got. I don't know if you can see it well. But we got... Hot chicken smamiches with coleslaw and pickles and some fries. Um, I'm going to save one of my smamiches for... Um, I'm going to actually try this sauce. I have honey. I want to put the honey on the hot chicken. But I feel like the honey on the coleslaw is going to be funny. Oh man, these fries are good though. Mm. The other thing that's driving me crazy is I've been seeing fucking Frigalicious all day. I don't know how. I don't know why it happened. But I've just been going, rock, rock. I've been doing the rock, rock part all fucking day. The thing about these sandwiches, if you get anything less than medium, spice wise, because you could go from, like, no spice to, like, reaper, okay? But if you go anything less than medium, sometimes the coleslaw on the sandwich is kind of overkill. It feels like it's way too much. But if you have anything medium and higher, the coleslaw is nice with the spice of the sandwich. It kind of counteracts it a little bit, so it's not 
killing you or anything. I'm trying to remember if I got hot or if I got medium. I think I got hot, so we'll see in a minute here. I guess I should just eat one. So yeah, so that's the sandwich. Okay, all sorts of yummy. Oh, gee, they didn't give me a thing of pickles. They normally put like a cup of pickles in here. That's what is missing. I'm like, this looks different. That's like my favorite thing. God damn it. Okay. So let's take a bite of this guy. Dude, it's really weird. It doesn't taste very hot. But it is kind of peppery. This is not what it normally tastes like. Every time I've ordered from this place, it tastes fucking different. Every fucking time. Ugh. I was just craving, like, hot Korean fried chicken. But all my favorite, like, Korean chicken places are fucking closed because it's Sunday. Fucking losers. Now I wish I would have got, like, a spice higher. Because it just tastes like pepper. Like black pepper. It, it's not, like, spicy at all. For those of you who don't mind Domino's, if you get the jalapeno pineapple chicken that's so fucking good that's the shit i want to fucking put honey on this this is driving me crazy survey says because i do like hot honey like there's a hot honey pizza that you can get at the grocery store it's really fucking good just don't know if honey's gonna taste good with the coleslaw but we're gonna find out i think the thing is is that i don't like their coleslaw I don't think it's very tasty. When I decided on a chicken sandwich, I was like, oh, dude, I should just get Mitch and Doc. I wouldn't have that forever because I don't think they do coleslaw. And their hot is fucking hot as fuck. And they have way hot levels. Dave's is really good. And they're getting a lot of buzz right now because they're doing that Dave's Not Chicken, the hot cauliflower fried cauliflower shit and i've tried it it's okay but i swear to fucking god every time i go to dave's it is different the the spice level is different the presentation is different how it tastes is different i just like i want some sort of consistency damn it so don't i don't want you guys to get me wrong the place is pretty good the fries are really fucking good if I could get Dave's fries at Mitch and Doc, oh, it'd be over. I just want consistency, guys. And I want my fucking jar of pickles. I'm gonna do a bit of an unboxing. Um, I'm feeling really shit today. Uh, I don't know how much I want to get into this with you guys yet. So um, I'm gonna keep this close to the vest right now. But we are going to get into this. And I just want it to be known that I don't know if this person who sent this in wants me to say who did this, who sent this to me. So, um, I'm just going to not say. Is that open? this thing not sure what it is <laughs> um, nice note nice note I'm gonna keep this that that's I'm stick I'm hanging on to that for sure uh, oh shit this is what I'm kind of confused about right now. I'm going to come out and say it. In a fucking case? What the fuck? What is this? A, a, the charger? Dude. Okay. 
Like, oh, uh, okay. I, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Um, I was just um, looking for used stuff, and if anyone had any used stuff, and this is not used stuff, I think this is new stuff, so um, that's kind of embarrassing. Um, I, I won't tell you exactly what the note says, but it says, Bon voyage, motherfucker. Um, bon voyage. So, uh, god damn, dude. Heart is full. Heart is full. Don't want to seem ungrateful. You know, like, you didn't have to do this. This is above and beyond. Wow. Yeah. So, um, I will put that right there. So, I guess as far as the things, um, I need, uh, the Kindle's off the list, obviously. Um, but, uh, shit. Yeah, so thank you so much. Thank you so much. I just got my order delivered, and I'm so happy because, like, my favorite thing in the world is here. And I haven't had it for, like, four days, and I've been, like, kind of losing my shit. And you're like, what are you talking about? What is your favorite thing? Dude. Um, dried Philippine mango from what brand is this? Southern Grove. I think you can only get these at Aldi's um, because it has the little Aldi guarantee on the back, the little blue thing. Now, dried mango is dried mango. This dried mango is better. Um, it's not like leather. It's thicker. Um, it's just really fucking good. So... This is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. I could eat this shit all day. All damn day. Other mango. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Other mango. It's so fucking hard and you're like ripping your teeth out trying to fucking get through it. I'd rather just have a fucking mango. But this is like easy. Oh, it's so good. I feel rejuvenated. God damn. So good. Okay, I'm not going to eat all this. Come on, dude. Oh, so fucking good. Their dried pineapple is really good, too. But honestly, from what I've noticed, it's really hard to fuck up dried pineapple. I don't know why that is. Like, you could pretty much get any dried pineapple anywhere and it'll be good. But I also wanted to try this with you guys. It is spicy garlic pork jerky. I know. I also ordered the um, Korean barbecue kind, but I guess they were out. So, let's get into this. Ah. Oh, that smells so fucking good. Oh my god. I don't think... I think I've had pork jerky, but I haven't had pork jerky jerky. I've had the... What do you call it? The, the gulatong or something. It's like not really jerky, but it's kind of jerky. It's just made different or whatever. Mm. From the way this smells, it smells like... It's going to really hit you now. There's a little bit of spice. I was, I don't know why. I was hoping for some, like, kick you in the dick spice. Mm, it's so mild. There's not a ton of flavor. It is a little lighter colored than um, beef jerky because it's pork. But um, that's good. I don't know what the fuck I thought I was going to get. It doesn't really taste like pork. Have, have you had pork jerky? Do you like pork jerky? What are your favorite jerkies down below? I've had a bunch of different kinds of jerky. I don't know why I've never had pork. Like, I've had um, elk. I've had deer. I've had, um, I think I've had moose and ostrich jerky, too. Or was it emu? 
I don't remember. I mean, it's okay. I think I was just wanting something super spicy. But my mangoes are here, so that's all I really give a shit about. So this is Sims Artisan Jerky. I wanted a little more... Wanted a little more kick. That bite had a little more kick, but like... Very small. Now this is just... Teriyaki beef jerky. So it is a bit darker. Let's see. I think it's this brand. This brand is just very light on the flavor. It's a fucking teriyaki and it's like just barely teriyaki. If you want some flavor, just eat the dried mangoes, guys. This is fine. It's good. Anyway. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.